Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at that. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today it's a modification day. I love car modification day. So I'm back here with my friends at Motec Performance and you've just seen the A45 go inside there. That's another video. That is sick. Let me find Mike and find out what exactly we're doing to this bad boy. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. So hello. You're going to be wanting a coffee? Oh, mate, you know I love a coffee. Yes, please. Sit. Well, like, Make yourself. Yes. <laughs> So, we're here to do some bits, right? And um, so obviously you guys, if you're subscribed, you know that we've had the Remus exhaust put on the car, which is amazing, by the way, Mike. Incredible. And the pipe across intake. <laughs> but now, we've got a few other things that we're gonna be doing. We so uh, I'm gonna run this, get the focus in. We're gonna run this through with Mike now. So, what are we doing today, mate? Today we're doing springs and spacers. We are. But there's a slight twist to your springs I haven't told you about yet. Oh, your face. oh, hang on. <laughs> This is a slight twist. I'm not sure. I'm, am I going to be happy about it? Yeah, you will be. Okay, good, cool. Yeah. Right. So the springs we're going to use are from a Dutch company uh, that are TV approved. Yeah. Similar quality to iBack and that sort of stuff. But we are looking if this becomes a popular setup on the CLAs and the A45 to have our own custom line of springs. Nice. So there will be officially a Motec stance setup, Motec stance springs. We already do it for the ones and twos. Yeah. And I do it for M3 and M4. Yeah. So we're looking to branch out. So if this becomes popular on the CLA and the A45s. And, uh, so is this the first time we're, we're, you guys are chucking these springs on a car? The car, they've already well, been fitted before. Yeah. So we're going to have them slightly tweaked for us. So they'll be branded as Motec Start Springs. Yeah. So is my car the guinea pig? Always. We like being the guinea pig for loads of stuff. Important thing for me is, obviously you know what I had before. I had a car that was stupidly low. Literally every time I'd see any form of a speed bump, I'd yeah. kind of crap myself. Yeah. This isn't going to be too low. No, no. good question. And like, We had a conversation before in your yeah. last video about having it very OEM plus. Yes, that's what we're really that's good exactly it. Almost like you could have brought this conversion from the dealer. Yeah. So hence, as you know, we'd go out and we'll see two of the Motec Edition BMWs at the minute. Yeah, I've spotted that already. It's yeah, exactly. stunning. The second one. Um, it's very OEM what we do here. It's very sort of dealer feel, dealer vibe. You know, so what you could almost go and tick from AC Snips or yeah. Brabus or yeah. Tech Art. So yeah. That's the sort of ethos we go around. Yeah. Nice. You're be a happy boy. You know, one of the things I love about this place, I love, I love this waiting room. I said it in the last video, mate. This waiting room is epic. It's like a big TV. It is. I mean, and the best thing about it as well is like, look. I mean, you flip now. You don't mess around. The wheels are already off. Look, yeah, exactly. look. You can, you've got a great view of your car as well, which I think you know we talked about it in the last video. Is a lot of people like to see their car having mods done, don't they? You know where your car is. Exactly. The whole time. Exactly. People do worry about. Well, I'm just sitting in the waiting room and I can hear my car. Yeah. But I can't see, but it. I can't see it. And that's a worry. Yeah. When you're spending. It doesn't matter what you're spending on your car part wise, but it's your pride and joy. Exactly. You get up at six o'clock to clean it, you clean it in the cold, that's your, yeah. your your hobby. Well I cleaned it in the dark last night, mate, so it's I clean for this video, see? Yeah, appreciate Right. It what have we got? Well we've got one of each. So got your spring. Yep. This is a rear. So we're gonna put four nice red to match your car. Very nice. So we're putting these on as we sort of set upstairs. Uh, we are looking to expand the Motec Stance range of products. Yeah. Uh, at the minute it has three, we do the two setups for the BMWs, the ones and the twos, two different drive drops and the M3 and M4. Yeah. We've had quite a good response from your CLA video, in fact we booked three more. Oh really? Yeah, so far. Go on guys, well done. Yeah, so booked three more, uh, one more today. Uh, one CLA 45 and two A45s. Great. So if it becomes quite popular, yet again, the same sort of setup, we will do a very OEM plus modification, so springs and spacers to yeah. give that OEM drop and look. Yeah. We'll band it together as a Motec style. So we shall see how this goes. Yeah, no, I'm excited and I'm, and, um, well, it, it's going to look so much better. Uh, yeah. It's going to look you, so much better. Just dropping it and giving that sort of sort of shoulder look. Yeah, just yeah. Because really it's quite an aggressive looking car anyway to start with the A45. But as with anything, you can always add that little bit more just to give it that. 100%, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah well, definitely. Yeah. Everything is built to a certain reason. The reason why the original wheels don't have spaces or so far in from factories is for snow chains. 
Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like we get much snow here, is it? Uh, uh, you got four dry people. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so yeah, and we've got the spaces here as well, so yeah. let's have a quick so little gander at the... Uh... So we're going to do 12mm front and back on yours. Yeah. So we use a company called TPI. Yeah. Uh, all black extended bolts, and these are your spaces. So. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Like anything else, you can yeah. buy cheap ones on the market, or you can buy decent quality ones. But if you feel the weight of that, so we just use five holes. The other five to keep things light. Oh, yeah, that's what you want. But you know, you want something that's decent quality that is going to hold the car or hold the wheel. Yeah, car, exactly. Know. Oh, these look good. These look good. Yep, yeah, no, we'll have those, we'll yep. have those, definitely. Good, sold. Happy days. So the springs, and well, the springs and spacer are well on the way. You know, this is like, you know like when you um, you go sun tanning and you cover something up, look at the dirt, I need to clean them. But yeah, here they are. Brand new red springs, kind of Motec, Motec's own brand springs, which we're trialing out on my car. Um, I can't wait to see what this looks like as a drop. Nick, are you getting on? Fabulous, mate. Fabulous. Fabulous. They look good. Red matches the car. We like that. Yeah, any colour for us? It's all coming yeah, on? Yeah, it's all going good. It's all going good. So we're halfway through now. Nick, I'm going to leave you to it, man. I'm going to sit down in a little waiting area. That's what it's for, though, isn't it? <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's go. Let's go chill. You see, and, and all joking aside, I'm not, I'm not just saying it, but... Like one of the things that we all do it, you know, when you're going to mod your car, you all want to see what's going on. And literally, um, I, I can just, I can look at it right there. There it is. Ah, oh, that's sick. Yeah, man. You can see the difference. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Yes, I'm very happy. That's exactly the drop I wanted in Arc. I can't wait to drive it now. But yeah, it just, it's just got that tiny little bit of stance, uh, 12 mil spaces all round, exactly what you need. I don't think you need anything more. Uh, and just the right drop. Uh, and these are obviously a, a brand that Motec are partnering up with, but um, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at that. Oh, sick. Very pleased. Let's, um, let's get the car, give you a, a closer look. But um, initial thoughts, Motor give smashed it again. Oh man, look at this. Look at that, that is, that's perfect. It's got a nice drop. But look at, I, you know, I said it when we were inside, but look at the, the spaces. They give it that nice little bit of stance and the rears as well, the rears drop. They're not, this is gonna drop further because this has literally just been put on, but yeah, I'm well impressed, well impressed. It looks how it should have looked from factory now. Well done, guys. <laughs> this car is so sick, and now it looks the part. I've just driven this for about five miles just to get a bit of a feel for what the springs are, the springs are like before coming and talking to you guys. And it feels exactly the same as OEM. Uh, and no doubt this car is going to um, it's going to settle a bit so the springs will give a bit more of a drop and um, i think it's about a 25 mil drop on this but um you get out of sport plus it keeps revving for me um yeah it, it feels the same but it looks so good it looks so much better now with the spaces it gives it the right amount of stance the right amount of lows without compromising oem which is exactly what i wanted a massive shout out to Motec. Uh, those guys have always been great. They've been great to me when they did the Remus and they've been great to me now when they've been doing this. But um, yeah, everything that you need to know is in the description, guys. Make sure, to check, make sure to check them out. And obviously as well for this. For the Remus exhaust, that is linked below as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. We have done some mods on the A45. I am super happy with it and uh, yeah. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and I'm going to see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I guess now, uh, now we wait.